Bell. What up, Albert? Make sure to unmute, champ, and turn your uh, landscape off. Of... <clears throat> Y'all can hear you. What up, champ? What's popping? Man. What's going on, man? What time is it out there? It's like it's, midnight, uh, right? 11.38. Damn. At night? Yeah, p.m. Yes, sir. Damn, thank yeah, you for staying up late, man. Yeah, it's about to be Wednesday over here, fellas. It's crazy. You in the future. On everything. When I came, when I left, um, it was, I was in L.A. It was May 15th at my dad's birthday. So I called him, wished him a happy birthday, got on the plane. It was goddamn. That was Sunday. I got here. It was Tuesday morning. Damn. It was the seventeenth. I, I didn't have. I didn't have a May sixteenth this year. Bro, you know it's crazy because I was actually supposed to fly out last night, and uh, you know obviously I'm denied. But I was supposed to fly out last night, and today is Ned's birthday, and I'm like, damn, bro, I'm gonna miss your whole birthday because I wasn't supposed to land till Wednesday morning. I was gonna miss right. all of Tuesday, uh, mm -hmm. May thirty first. So yeah, that's crazy. Then like when I come back. I have two June six. Oh wow! Like I leave. I leave here on the six, but I'm going back in time. So when I get there, it'll be st it'll still be June six. So it's gonna be like June six to two days for me. That's crazy. He gonna get <laughs> off an eighteen hour flight on June six. Still be June six. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. You're, you're yeah, like a wild. space traveler. <laughs> right. That's what they, they say time don't exist if we get to talk about our conspiracy stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Yo, man. So, 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 uh, talk to us. How, how does it feel to uh, a kid, a guy from Toledo? Wait, before you ask, uh -oh. I, I want to know how you get. Like, when did you know, and how did you get that call? Um, I knew probably like a couple of days before. Uh, before I came. Okay, it was so it was really, very, it was very recent and sporadic then. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was headed to Atlanta for uh my guy Vic. Uh, he had some fights, you feel me? So yeah. I was headed to Atlanta to go kick it, you know what I mean? But uh, they like, uh, I, uh, Lou called him. Lou DeBella and Peter Kahn and them had called him. I guess they said they needed a real skillful guy to uh, box, come get some work with or whatever. So I'm like, shit, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm with that type of stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get out to Toledo when the summer here anyway. Like, it's dangerous when summer, first, when the heat first break out, you don't, it ain't nowhere you really want to. You know you want to be, so yeah. I definitely was with it. Man, so how'd you feel? Like, I mean, it had to be an. an have you ever been to Australia? And how did you know that you would be? Uh, did you know you would be allowed in? Yeah, I ain't got no cases. You know what I mean? So I, so I knew I was straight on that end. But uh, yeah, it was. You know what I mean? Like, who wouldn't want to just travel the world to do something they want to do that they love doing? You know what I mean? So. That's another thing about it. like Australia. Who, who, the, how many people get to say been to Australia? Like, especially come from where I come from. I don't know nobody been to Australia from Toledo. So, shit, I was with it. That's sure. definitely a great feeling. You know, uh, it's funny. We we were having a conversation, me and Danny, and um, someone was telling us, they were like, yo, did you notice that George Cambosos is saying that Albert Bell would be a future world champ? Mm -hmm. um, how'd that make you feel to have him say that? live to the public and and it be something that he can be quoted for yeah he just said he just said it again when he was talking to um to uh mark kriegel when we was just on the lobby and he said he bet his house on it mm. <laughs> but um it just feel good let me know that i'm doing the right things and my talent is real my uh my boxing skill iq everything i bring to the table is real you know it's just about getting the right fights to make it actually happen you know that's all it's about yeah like but you know what I mean? Lomachenko just said it before. Their whole team was like, we gonna, we calling you and the new. That's what they kept calling me. Like, they wouldn't call my name. They just say, and the new. You know what I mean? So, and they not the only guys that I done been around or actual world champions or former world champions. I done boxed as just, you know what I mean? So, it's, 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 um, it's good to hear. It makes it definitely adds confidence to you. But, you know, I'm, I'm in for actually the accomplishments of it but it's definitely a, a plus and a badge of honor that I wear probably. We was around a trainer and, and he was like, man, when I hear someone say that, all I interpret is that that young man beat the shit out of him. Now, I know yeah. you ain't going to tell the truth because obviously sparring is sparring, but um, I, I kind of believe him, you know, in the sense that like, he going out his way to say you're going to be a world champ. You had to have been touching him up. 
Like you ain't just gonna say that for a dude who's up and coming or a dude that's giving you good work. He got to be difficult. If he's going to be a world champion, like, if I could bet my house, Albert Bell's going to be a world champion, it was hard for me you, as a champion to touch that that man. That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm interpreting it. Especially yeah. when especially when you said you got there May 17th. So in that short window, whatever you did. Exactly. Whatever you, you did. You, put, you made a good impression. You did, you know. So. And, uh, you know. And I and, and and you know this this trainer that we were obviously talking to I, I I I believe him I'm sure when we are not on the record and we tell you who it is you'll be like oh yeah yeah he's seen me work before that's why he say that <laughs> so okay. you know um, yeah that's just something I wanted to tell you because we were having that conversation because it was it, it's been it's been a conversation amongst the gyms here you know I don't mm -hmm. know uh, people know that you've been doing well. I don't know if you know. No, I don't, I don't know. Mm. I'm in a whole nother. I'm in a whole. I'm on a whole nother day, man. I don't, I don't know that's <laughs> you that's in the future. He in the future. He living that's in the future, days, right? Man, I don't know nothing about that stuff. Right. You in the future, Albert? Well, uh, regardless of what the people may think, you know, just talk to us about the experience, nonetheless, with the Unified World Champion and being able to get those rounds in, and you know, helping George get prepared for the. You know, for the big undisputed fight this weekend, uh, like it's just, it's great work, and like they they real good people. I just I just like um, I like them as humans. You know what I mean? Like, um, and then in Australia, everybody here they they probably too nice. It's just like they culture. It's a culture shock, man, over here. But it's it's definitely I've been having fun. I've been enjoying the time over here in Australia. They took me in like I'm one of their own. You know what I mean? And then the sparring has been great. You know. Uh, be fun, interesting. So yeah, you know, I, I have a good time over here. I, I see uh, yourself and Xander Zayas in the gym dancing, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you guys. You know, a, oh, you know, you know me though, Danny. You know me for real, for real. Like you know, I'm gonna turn up, and have fun wherever I go. I don't care if we in China or we're on Mars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna bring that energy to the gym while I'm having fun and making my work environment a fun place. So you know, it's probably a breath of fresh air for them because they probably not used to that, but. Everybody, they like, that's probably another thing that probably would make me likable when people uh, like me, you know what I mean? But that's that's just how I am. Right, right, right. Uh, did it feel good uh, not just to come in and be able to be welcomed? And you said, you know, obviously they're treating you like family, but to be able to click with everybody really well, you know, uh, sometimes that chemistry is hard when you have a fighter who's not familiar maybe with other fighters or foreign fighters mm -hmm. or different trainers, things like that. I see it seemed like uh, you've clicked well with, like, uh, Centeno and just everybody over there. Uh, that Yeah. it's I like that with everybody I go because I, I give my respect first. You know what I mean? I respect myself and I respect everything around me. So when you give respect to people first and you're not an asshole or you go and greet people and shake hands and introduce yourself – you know, it's probably it's, unless they're just asshole type people, you you usually click well with people. You know what I mean? It's, uh, um, I'm easy a person to be around, and I, I do my work. I don't bother people, and then that's pretty much what it be. And I'm a pretty I got a good character about myself, and know how to make friends or whatnot. So yeah, everything was smooth. Everything smooth. Did you go alone, or did you get a plus one? No, I came dolo. Oh wow, no trainer. I rode Dolo from state to state, baby. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I came Dolo though. I came by myself. Damn, pops. How it. is it sparring without your pops, trainer? Hey, hey, ask my pops. You know, pops are gangster, man. You know they ain't gonna let pops over here. <laughs> <laughs> rap sheet longer than the track me. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so how is it sparring without your trainer there? I'm used to it. I did, I've been doing it my whole life. You know what I mean? Like boxing, when you go off to camps, when you in the amateurs or in the pros, like I went to Lomachenko camp by myself, just myself. My father went there and none of that. So boxing is a one-man sport. Your your coach is there to help you and all that. But at the end of the day, it's you. You know what you got to do and what the hell you don't have to do. A man trying to beat your ass, you better box and do what you got to do, bro. Being as though that you said that, how do you feel about the situation with Devin and Bill not being allowed into the country and Devin having this fight, obviously biggest fight of his life without his father? Yeah, that's but that's different because it's an actual fight and it's uh it's the biggest fight of his life and it's sixty thousand people screaming against him in the whole country against him. You know what I mean? So that's a little different. 
we just talking about we just talking about sparring, you know what I mean? But I'm I'm fighting with Pops there. If I have to, I have to, but we're gonna try to make sure Pops anywhere on spar. I mean fighting, but Devin just gotta be Devin, man. You know what I mean? He gotta when the bell ring, he gotta zone out and do what he do. You know what I mean? He can't get caught up in that. He can't he, it's gonna be in the back of your mind, but at the same time, you gotta let it go and just do your best to do you. You know how you've been training your whole life for this moment. Go out there, be true to yourself, your craft, your skill, and keep your the thing that your father instilled in you and taught you along the way and um, apply it the best you can during your fight night. That being said, you know, and you just said, you, you know, your dad's rap sheet's longer than a track meet. Would you take a fight in Australia of this magnitude knowing that there's a strong possibility your dad can't get there? Absolutely. And is you know that because I mean? he's not your trainer or or is he? No, my dad, my trainer. My okay. dad coached me my whole life. Okay. Whole life. No other coaches. My dad, my whole life. Um, wow. So you would take the fight without him? Got to. If it's like this, you got you got to think how Devin Devin been calling for the tight these fights for so long, and what what's what if this opportunity may never come again? He got this opportunity because the war got was going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he probably wouldn't even got it now. So you gotta you gotta. When when you when greatness calls, you got to answer it. So, so yeah, it's a tough situation, but this is what we signed up for, and he wants to be the best lightweight out there. He want to prove himself against the best lightweight out there. I mean, best lightweights out there, and become that guy in the division where he now he can call on them and tell them where come. He can say it could be in my backyard in Oakland after it. You know what I mean? So, you got to do what you got to do, and he uh, he showed the world that he really want. He he bought what he about and he's standing on business and you can't do nothing but salute him and respect him at that. Well, how old is that? 24? 23. 23, 24, yeah. No, yeah, he's 23, so. That's crazy. You got to respect that. So, uh, Mr. Bell, I don't know if you watched the press conference. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Okay, so, you know, George took a stance and feels that Devin is a quote-unquote traitor because... Mm -hmm. Uh, he gave him information on T.O. So Devin posted that an article from Boxing Scene that shows that Jeff With Horn. Jeff Horn yeah. Oh, good. You So you've seen exactly yeah, I, what I'm. Yeah, I know. I know. But I already knew about all that before that even came out. With so Jeff Horn so how do that. you feel? Like, do did you talk to, to George? Because obviously you're American being brought in to help George. So is yeah. he is he gonna turn around in the future and say that you're a traitor because you went against Devin? I don't know. I really don't give a fuck about all that. I'm here to get uh, the box. I got a fight coming up. I can't get no better work than sparring a unified world champion and get paid along the process. I don't care about all that other shit. People gonna talk regardless. They gonna say this. They gonna say that. But at the end of the day, we all fighters and we doing what we try to do. But I ain't. But. With far as the rat situation, that's between them. I don't get into other grown man business for real. As far as who texting this and texting that, that's gossip and chatty pat. Well, no, I, I didn't even want to know any of that. I'm talking about specifically you yeah. because again, you're being now you're an American. No, 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 I, I, I I don't I don't know. I, who knows? I don't care about none of that. Like I, I it, don't, it makes me no never no never mind. Cool. So when it comes to his fighting style, again, me and Danny obviously were talking all yesterday because it's fight week and. uh Danny has it made up that he's an aggressive fighter. I believe he's a counterpuncher. I think that there's a lot of who's people. A, who's a counterpuncher? I believe Cambosos is a counterpuncher. Danny believes Cambosos is a uh, an aggressive fighter. Um, I, believe I think he's like more, I believe I, more of like an aggressive boxer. Can like you he explain? Box when he have to, like you see, like certain rounds in Teal, he'll come out aggressive and be on him. But it'd be times where Tio would try to force the action. He had turned into a boxer. It's like he picks spots. He's an aggressive boxer. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I wouldn't pretty much say he's a counter puncher, though. You know what I mean? Devin is more like a boxer counter puncher. Mm. Interesting. Because I feel he uses that left hook a lot, but he needs you to come to him. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's boxing. But that's boxing as well. You know what I mean? When you come in, like, that don't really make you a counter punch. I mean, you boxing them. If a guy coming at you, you moving and you throwing a hook at him, you boxing at that point. But then he attacked with a six-punch combination as well. So it's like he's an aggressive boxer. You have boxer punchers. You have the counter puncher boxers. Then you got, like, aggressive boxers, guys that can actually box and move a little bit when they need to and then attack when you need to. So now, obviously, like you're, 
you, obviously you're the one in there, and I think that's where the confusion for me came because I don't consider his flurries as aggression. I, I feel like he – when he finally can stand in front of you is when he lets those big flurries go. But if you're moving, he can't do a six-punch combination. It's hard to throw six punches that's up to moving. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So 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 then so then obviously uh I know for a fact you're not standing in front of him to for him to get off six shots. Devin yeah. Devin obviously uh is known to box, so we're not expecting him to just stand in front of George. So what do you think George has to do in order to be able to... He got to become the aggressor. He got to come to Devin, right? Yeah, I would say make it just... Um, make it a fight, you know? Um, this fight is all... It's a 50-50 fight, but it's all about who set the tone and the tempo. You know what I mean? Like, is it going... Is it going to be the type of fight that Cambosis wants, where he say, he's saying that he come out is going to be a war from the first round or is Devin going to be Devin and box, make it box you know what I mean turn into a boxing match where he's comfortable it's all about who sets the tone but it's a lot of intangibles that goes into the fight that makes it more interesting than what it is that we see on paper I don't want you to you know ruin your situation but I feel like he has to set the tone it's it's his 60,000 people He's the one saying, I'm going to destroy Devin. I'm going to take his belt. I'm the emperor. I mean, the, your crowd will boo you if you come out first round on the back foot. I think. Who knows, though? We don't know. I don't even know what type of fans is over here in Australia. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know what they like. You know, like some Americans. He's been selling a story. I'm, I'm just going off the yeah. story he's been selling. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Very interesting yeah, fight, I though. Say, we, I was going to say, we'll, we'll see very soon. <laughs> Shit. How's that power? How is that power? Because Tio went down. People thought he ain't have power till he put Tio down. Box, though. Everybody can hit. People don't think people can hit, but, man, you ever have a girl or a little kid ever ran by and hit you in the stomach or something and you <laughs> like about to shit on yourself? Like, Shit, Bill if, Haney. If, Bill Haney if, just tapped me in the stomach yesterday. I felt that if, way. If you, if you there for anybody can hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all about it's the shots that not that you don't see is what hurts you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And Tio got caught with a shot he didn't expect or didn't see coming. But um he got decent power. He got decent mm -hmm. power. They um I think both fighters in not considered punchers or knockout artists, but they both have power that could buzz you or hurt you or drop you. So you've sparred Devin? I sparred Devin a few times. They've been a long time ago, a long time ago. Like, but I've how been around old? Devin a lot. I just, I just seen Devin spar a lot of times. You know, what I mean, me and Danny the men in the gym together and watch Devin do 10, 12 rounds on multiple occasions and stuff. So that's what's up. Champ, I just wanted uh your thoughts. We spoke to Bill Haney yesterday, and uh obviously he is still in limbo. Of going yeah, to Australia, yeah. and at at this point, they're uh, you know, they have alternatives that they're trying to to come with for fight night in order for him to be able to communicate with the corner. Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard they said somebody like a headpiece or something like that, or yeah, some it, type of situation. According yeah. according to Bill, though, that same headpiece is what uh, George and his team are protesting and saying that they don't want to allow. Uh, for them, no, to they, they were they saying that. Um, what I heard is spoke. I guess they want. Um, somebody said something like, "I don't know how true it is, or if it's actually been said or not." But they were saying something like they want George Coach, his head coach, to go in the back and talk to a headphone too. Yeah, or something yeah, like that. yeah. And that's where, and that's where the the debate. Yeah, is yeah, coming. yeah. So that is true. That is true. Bill is trying to get that approved. So he's like, yo, let's be on the level playing field. Like, fuck it. Send his dad to the back, well, too. No, Centeno. He said send Centeno yeah, yeah, to Centeno. the back. Centeno. Centeno. You know, send the head. But I think, I think that is but, insane. But obviously, he's like, I, he's like, I know they're not going to give me that. But now he's saying that they don't even want the head piece at all. That they don't want him. Uh, I, I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. I, I think they... I think they was pretty much fine with the uh, with the headpiece situation. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully that's true, and you know, hopefully, uh, 
you know, Bill can at least communicate, you know, via the corner. Yeah, what, sure. what do you Look, think of that, though? What do you think of, of, of they're saying, you know, via an iPad, perhaps? What do you think of just the idea a trainer being able to FaceTime or call in however it How's may be? How's that even going to work? Is Devin going to put on a headset? Yeah, I, no, I was... I, I, was I really don't know. I was that's, telling him... It's tricky because you don't know, like, because it's, it's tricky, you know what I mean? But he definitely needs to be able to uh, have some type of way of communicating with his father and his father getting the related message because that's the voice that he's used to hearing in the corners and the voice that he trusts to carry him through um, through whatever. So he definitely needs to be able to have that voice in his ear during the times he may need it or may not need it the most. It's gone. You know what I mean? So I definitely hope they get something figured out. Let me ask you, do you think there would be ever a time where you, you could look at a fighter and be like, dad, I got him. I, I really you don't. know that anyway. You got to know that hundred percent anyway. When you step in the ring, when you become a pro No, but fighter, I'm saying, but I'm saying I got him without you. Like I, you I do could that every time you step out there, because okay. your, your, it's 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 you. You can you know how many times coaches yell shit twenty four seven and the fighter not doing it at all rather Absolutely. than winning or losing. Yeah, you know I mean it could you could be winning, but your coach wanted you to do something totally different. But you had to trust on yourself and your instincts and what you see in there and to pull you through. Or or your coach could be telling you everything right and you still just getting your ass kicked, <laughs> but you're not listening. So it's on you as the fighter to all the way. You know what I mean so. When you see a guy and you see him fight, you know if you got him or you're going to have some trouble with him. No, that's for sure. That's for sure. Be, and, and it's true, but, I mean, even you said it. Uh, you know, sparring in a fight is different. And, it is. You, it you, is. you know, you sparred without your father plenty, but never have fought without him. So, right. I don't, you know, to me, the whole even with the headpiece, I just like, well, who who is Bill communicating? Is they communicating during yeah. a round? Is yeah, that's, it that's, that's, is that's, it only yeah, in between that's, rounds? Is it only with Devin? That's that's gonna be a tough figure out, man. That's gonna be a tough. Uh, damn, I don't know how they gonna do that. Like, they need to they need to figure something out. Is he gonna have like a little speaker in the corner that he shouts through those? I don't know. Like, but they um, damn, yeah, that's it's tricky, man. I just hope the I just hope the situation could be um different man where he was actually where he's actually there in attendance for this moment you know what i mean because like the cambosis i know jim cambosis um um cambosis father he speaks very very highly of bill haney you know what i mean he called us an ultimate gentleman and i know they won him over i think uh i think george himself called the embassy or that was rumored to try to skid him in you know what i mean but um it's just an unfortunate they're not letting him in and especially for something so old, you know what I mean? Like, thirty. Bullshit. Yeah, like, I mean, it was like seven bullshit. years before especially, Devin was even born. Especially when they could give yeah, him a crazy. work visa, because at the end yeah, of the day, yeah, yeah. Devin and Bill are bringing economics to the country. They, right, sure. If they don't come, the fight don't happen. So, like, right, it's sure. it's it's completely insane that he's not even allowed a work visa. Most definitely. Most definitely. I agree. I definitely agree. Hmm. But Albert, uh, you did say you have your own fight coming up, so uh, let's talk about that. When, when will that be, and when are you back in the states to continue camp for that? Oh, I come back to the states Monday, the day after the fight. So the fight here will be Sunday morning, and y'all see it Saturday night. Right. So uh, I'm back Monday, right in the gym. I fight July 23rd on Showtime um, for the NABO World. T I mean for the NABO title, and then um, you know that put me at number two, three in the world. So it's just up from there. So we focus getting ready for that. We got a couple names, all, all world ranked. So I told them whoever signed it first, let's do it. So um, do you know, is that going to be a show box or uh, is that a no, show? Showtime. Show showtime. Okay. It's a, box, a boxing star making its return on there. So I'll be on that card. AB? Your other A, the other AB? Yes, Sersky. Okay, so Brown is back July twenty third, and you on the card. Yeah, man, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, do do we have a location yet? We in the shy, baby. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we going to the crib. Yeah. Oh, oh, we going to the crib. Yeah. Oh man. I'll see you though. I don't know what venue they doing or what, but I know they was looking through between there or uh, Atlanta or Chicago. But I think they landed on Chicago. No, I'm not 100% yet, but it's looking like that's where to be at. 
right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be making a trip for that one. You know that. But uh, Albert, uh, we do appreciate it, and um, I know it is late out there, so I'm gonna let you get some rest, champ. Uh, thank you for your time. Let the fans know where to follow you. Uh, you know, as as the uh, unified champ said it himself, the next, you know, future world champ, Albert Prince Bell. Sure, you know, um, find me on Instagram at Albert Prince Bell, uh, Facebook Albert Prince Bell, Twitter Albert Bell four one nine. Was delays not denied. Coming for it, future world champion. Um, stamp it, put your house on it, whatever they say. I ain't gonna leave you home. It's like some fighters do when they tell you to make bets. And uh, it's up. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Appreciate you coming on the show. Always. I love. Thanks for y'all having me. All right. Thank you. Let me get a screen share here, Austin. I don't know, Danny. What you think? I feel like Camboso's face pretty red. Zoom in on it a bit more. Oh no, I can't. I can't, you know. Mr. Bell looking all happy. He's smiling. What's going on? What's going on in this region? You see his left eye <laughs> look a little lower. What's going on right here? What's this about? Mm. Wide stance. Mm. But so was Albert Bell, so you could tell he had to he had to fight. You could tell. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out. Get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.